All right, let's talk about the Nikita Zaitsev trade to the Chicago Blackhawks. So we have the Senators who just traded. Let's jump over. We'll just jump over to the screen right now. Uh, we have Chicago that traded with the Ottawa Senators. So we have right here uh, Chicago receiving Nikita Zaitsev, a 2023 second round pick and a 2026 fourth round pick for the famous future considerations been passed around for generations. So. Um, so that we, get, we have uh, Chicago's picking up Nikita Zaitsev and his contract. We all knew that Ottawa wanted to get offload this contract. So this is what they did. They they moved it. They, they got rid of it. This frees up a lot of space. So we're going to talk about that real quick. This should be a quick video. Um, I'm actually pretty annoyed with Chicago because they are doing the rebuild. I They trade off some big pieces, but they're literally stripping this thing to the ground. I, I don't agree with the, the, the Brinkett trade or the Doc trade, but they are going bare bones on this they are clearing house on this which i think is probably the right move after their kyle beach situation um but i digress so let's just talk about the trader for right now we can talk about the kyle beach anytime you guys want to though so jump over here nikita zaitsev now again at chicago blackhawks over here he's making 4.5 million mind you this was signed back when he was with the toronto maple leafs right so uh and so this is he was so he got with the toronto maple leafs he got traded to ottawa and now he's traded to Chicago. So you can see this this current year he's he's making 4.5 million. Uh, and you can see there's what he's being owed to. So total salary being owed on the, is 4.5. So it's the reason that Chicago is picking up this contract is because they want the picks with it, right? So he does have a modified no trade clause. So he submitted this 10 team no trade clause. I guess Chicago was not on it. I imagine he did not think that they were going to be this bad. But he will be there for um, the rest of the remaining season and next season. Uh, so that, that'll be for Chicago's <laughs> uh, the bear, burden to bear, I'd say. Uh, well, let's check out how he's doing real quick. So right, do, 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 with the Ottawa Senators, 5.5 5 assists in 28 games. Not doing amazing. You can even see he had a little bit of time in the AHL. It's a big contract for someone who's playing in the AHL. I would know. I'm a Red Wings fan seeing Osim Verana. And Ernie and Adelkovich all playing in the in AHL. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Anyways, so <laughs> anyways, I'm a disgruntled uh, Red Wings fan. I'm not actually disgruntled right now. They're playing really well. Um, so the kids I said not doing very well. He is unfortunately not doing well. Not living up to that 4.5 million dollar contract. So that's why we're going to talk about it a little bit. So let's jump back over to here. But it, it, they're, they're just, I mean, let's, actually, we'll just jump over to the picks. So you can see they're, they're just doing this with the picks. They're saying, hey, we want the, we want that second round pick, and they want that fourth round pick. Wow, like 2026 is so far away. So they're just, here, take that second pick. It's We're not going to care about it. Then, we're, you know, Ottawa's assuming that they're going to be really good back later. So they're like, here, take this pick when we're planning on being good. And the second round pick, I've been saying it in videos, every, every trade, I keep hearing and I keep saying it. I keep believing it more because I keep saying it more. But I heard someone say, and it was an insider that said, a second round pick in 2023 is better and more desirable than a first round pick in 2024. So this is why they're picking up these second round draft picks. Chicago's getting as much as they can. Do again, doing the rebuild proper, proper. So let's jump, we'll jump over there. Let's jump over to their cap friendly page. They have plenty of room, I'm sure of it. You can see, so look at, they just picked the Nikita Zaitsev for $4.5 million and their current cap space is still 13. 13 million look at it's just crazy it's just so crazy how much extra they have so that's what they're just picking up these dead contracts so that people are not dead this is not a dead contract he's still a usable player he, he's he's a player i don't have a usable but he's still a player so that's why they're saying hey we're gonna really use him that's fine no big deal we'll take him on and so they did but the, again it's gonna cost you and that's what it costed a second round draft pick i actually think that it actually makes more sense for the Ottawa Senators to move on from him. Um, and I know they were talking about potentially even giving up a first round draft pick for this, for him. So this is a big move and it's, they actually, I think they did pretty well for just trading those two smaller picks. Um, typically what you see um, a, a round is worth double of what the round, what I found is the double of the round later, right? So if a first round pick is as good as, depending on where, the, where it lands, right? Is a, you know, a mid round, first round pick is the same as two seconds or like a two seconds right sorry a late first round is equivalent to two seconds right a late second round is equivalent to two thirds right so when they were willing to go potentially a first for this uh and they didn't have to and they only got rid of a second that that's that's a good move by the ottawa senators so 
and you can see that also frees them up as well they have a ton of cap space those are seven almost 18 million now so this is or so now they, they can go out there and pick up a player if they want to which is more exciting because they can now do moves they can they can do moves with this and they can actually make some some progress because right now they're struggling they're only looking at they only have 20 players on their roster right now so again they need to go make some moves to try and get better because again as pierre dorian the general manager said they said the rebuilds were over well they're not acting like the rebuilds over they're they're playing like they're still in a rebuild so they need to get their craft together so Anyways, just want to quick jump that. I think, in my opinion, this is a, a Chicago win. But I, I like what Chicago is doing. Actually, it's, I, it's actually, it's, I think it's a win-win. Ottawa gets to move away from some play, a player that they don't want anymore that's not usable because they're tr are on the up uptick, right? So they just moved off of this contract. Um, and they, we saw them do this with Murray as well. They moved off of the Murray contract to Toronto um, and gave up picks for that as well. So, again, Ottawa just taking these bad contracts that they had that, aren't, that weren't working out for them and moving on so that they can get better and they can they have like extra cap space so anyways let me know what your thoughts are appreciate it uh like subscribe thanks for jumping in and uh love you